Mathematics Level 4, Topic 3, Module 1. Welcome to Topic 3 of the Mathematics Level 4 Support Package, Space, Shape and Measurement. Topic 3, Space, Shape and Measurement, Module 1, Cartesian Geometry. Module 1, Session 1. Session 1 will cover Introduction to Topic 3. Subject Outcome 3.1. Cartesian Geometry Introduction Pre-Knowledge and Revision Cartesian Geometry Learning Outcome 3.1.1 Derive and Apply the Equation of a Circle, Any Centre, Part A Introduction to Topic 3, Space, Shape and Measurement In this module we are starting on Topic 3, Space, Shape and Measurement at level 4, this means Cartesian geometry, geometry and trigonometry. We are going to spend the next six modules or two days working through these three subject outcomes of topic 3. Looking on page 5 of our subject guidelines, we can see that topic 3 makes up 25% of the curriculum and it requires a minimum of 35 face-to-face -face teaching hours in the year. This topic is covered in paper 2 of the exam, where it is weighted 50%. Let's take a look at the subject outcomes for topic 3 on page 9 of your subject guidelines. Subject outcome 3.1. Use the Cartesian coordinate system to derive and apply equations. Subject outcome 3.2. Explore, interpret and justify geometric relationships. Subject Outcome 3.3 Solve problems by constructing and interpreting trigonometric models. Geometry is essentially new in Level 4, with only the Theorem of Pythagoras being covered previously. The coordinate geometry and trigonometry sections are also new content, but they build on the work covered in these sections in previous levels. Topic 3 is a long and difficult section that students really struggle with. Most of the content is brand new in Level 4, but it relies heavily on pre-knowledge from previous levels. You will need to give students a toolbox to work with and then help them to identify when to apply which tools. We will follow the order of the subject guidelines in this support package. Subject Outcome 3.1 Cartesian Geometry Introduction Let's watch a video introducing this section. Hi, I'm Ivan Mappeling. Let me introduce analytical geometry. Your students have been working with Cartesian geometry since level 2. Cartesian geometry is often called analytic geometry or coordinate geometry. Remember that with coordinate geometry we are exploring the relationships between points and lines on the Cartesian plane. This allows us to use algebra to solve geometric problems. Geometry makes up 25% of paper 2. This is broken down roughly as 5 to 8% analytical geometry and 17 to 20% of ordinary geometry. Let's take a look at subject outcome 3.1 and its learning outcomes in more detail. You'll find them on page 9 of your subject guidelines. Subject outcome 3.1. Use the Cartesian coordinate system to derive and apply equations. By the end of the subject outcome, your students should be able to use the Cartesian coordinate system to derive and apply the equation of a circle with any centre. Use the Cartesian coordinate system to derive and apply the equation of a tangent to a circle, given a point on the circle. Both of these learning outcomes are completely new in Level 4. Let's kick this module off with an activity on teaching the subject outcome. Your facilitator will divide you into groups. In your groups, discuss the following. Number one, what is your approach to teaching this subject outcome? For example, do you spend time on revision or do you begin with the circle? Number two, do you find that students generally have a good background in the Cartesian coordinate system when they begin? Number three, what are the areas that students often struggle with? Pre-Knowledge and Revision, Cartesian Geometry 
What pre-knowledge should students have before beginning this work? Levels 2 and 3 covered various concepts and formulae that students need to understand and apply in Level 4. These include finding the gradient and inclination of a straight line, the equation of a straight line, the gradient point theorem, the distance formula, the midpoint formula. It's also essential that students know how to complete the square. This was covered in Level 3. Before we begin with the first learning outcome, let's revise some of this pre-knowledge. Remember that the gradient m of a straight line is calculated by the difference between the y values of any two points on the line divided by the difference between the x values. Horizontal lines always have a gradient of 0, and vertical lines have an undefined gradient. If lines are parallel to each other, they have equal gradients. Lines that are perpendicular to each other have the property that the product of their gradients is equal to negative 1. The inclination of a straight line is the angle it makes with the x-axis, which we term theta. The tangent function of theta is equal to the gradient m, so we can use the inverse tan function to find theta from m. The distance formula is based on the theorem of Pythagoras, and we use it to calculate the distance between any two points. The midpoint formula is used to determine the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment. With our background knowledge in place, we now need to approach teaching the coordinate geometry of the equation of a circle and a tangent on the Cartesian plane. Learning outcome 3.1.1 Derive and apply the equation of a circle with any centre, part A. The equation of a circle. For this learning outcome, we use coordinate geometry to derive two equations of a circle, one with the centre of the circle at the origin and one with the centre of the circle at the point A, B. Let's start with the simplest case, where a circle has its centre at the origin, and then see how we derive the equation for the circle. Any point on the circle will be at a constant distance from the origin, and this distance is equal to the radius of the circle. Let P, X, Y be a point on the circumference of the circle. If we draw Pn perpendicular to Ox, we know that On squared plus Pn squared is equal to Op squared from the theorem of Pythagoras. Therefore, we can say that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, which is the equation of our circle. Teaching tip. It's important that you expose your students to all the possible different types of questions that can be asked on Cartesian geometry in level 4 and get them to practice them. Let's look at the kind of questions that can be asked with a circle with its centre at the origin. Students could be asked to find the equation of a circle given the radius or given a point on the circle. Or they could be required to calculate the radius given any point on the circle. Let's work through an example. Calculate the equation of a circle with its centre at the origin and with a radius of 4 units. We know that the radius is 4 because it is given. We know that the equation of a circle with its centre at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Substituting our value for r into the equation, we get 4 squared. We simplify to get 16. So, we can say that the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Now try this example on your own. Find the equation of a circle with its centre at the origin O, 0, 0, with P, 5, 2 on the circumference. As you work through this, think about what your students find difficult and how to help them with it. Let's work through the solution to the problem together. The question was, find the equation of a circle with its centre at the origin with the point P, 5, 2 on its circumference. We've been given the point 5, 2. We know that the equation for a circle with the centre at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Let's rearrange to get r squared on the left. We substitute our point, which gives us r squared is equal to 5 squared plus 2 squared. Simplify to get 25 plus 4. 
which equals 29. So we can say that the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 29. Here's another problem for you to work through on your own. Determine the radius of the circle if the tangent touches the circle at the point P, 8, 6. Let's watch a lecturer work through the solution. Let's consider the following example. The question reads as follows. Determine the radius of the circle if the tangent touches the circle at the point P, 8 is to 6. In order to solve this, we need to use the formula for the equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. In order to find r, let us make r the subject of the formula. x squared plus y squared. Therefore, r will be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Then you, we substitute the x value with 8 squared. We substitute the y value with 6 squared. We use our calculator. We get the value of square root of 100, which is equal to 10. Therefore, our radius is 10 units.